Hello and welcome back to Side High Tech and Merry Christmas. In this special Christmas video, I'm going to show you to make this beautiful RGB LED Christmas tree that is powered by an ATtiny85 microcontroller. Also, the code to program this ATtiny is in the description below. Let's get started. <laughs> And these are the parts that you're going to need to make this project. First, I want to start with this cardboard part. And I want to attach these two pieces, which I've made a slit in the middle, so that way they can connect just like this. What you'll need is a piece of perf board, an AT Tiny microcontroller with the socket holder, button cell battery holder, a push down lock switch which has been modified, an auto changing RGB LED, 12 RGB LEDs common cathode, some wire that represents each color of the LED. First I want to explain how to wire up this tree. What I want to do is I want to take the wire, place it like this, and then wrap the wire around the tree just like this to be able to connect each of the LEDs. Of course, the red wire will go to the red part, the green wire will go to the green part, and the blue wire goes to the blue part of the LEDs to represent each color of the LEDs. And of course, the black wire will go to the cathode of the RGB LED. And I want to wrap it around just like this. This yellow wire will represent the connection to the auto-changing RGB LED. That one doesn't need to be very long because it's just going to go straight to the circuit. I want to start with tinning each of the leads of the RGB LED so that way soldering the wires will make it easier. Blue wire goes to the blue LED, green wire goes to the green LED, black wire goes to the cathode of the LED, and of course red wire goes to the red LED. I have some shrink tubes that I want to place on each of the leads to keep everything insulated so nothing can short. Take my hot air gun, shrink the tubes, pinch them a little bit and it should look just like this. Now I need to make 11 more. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach each of the LEDs to the tree. Take my hot glue gun, put a little bit of hot glue on the edge of the tree, place my LED just like that. and it should look just like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue on the rest of the LEDs. And there, it should look just like this. And now it's time to link all of the LEDs together. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the red LEDs first. What I want to do is I want to go and remove a little bit of the insulation on the wire. Take my wire separators and make two little separation marks just like this. Then it should look like that. Then I want to take my Zacto knife and cut off the insulation part just a little bit and not go too deep to cut the wire, just do it gently. Pull off the insulation, and it should look just like this. Twist it a little bit, and there. It should look just like that. Now I'm going to take my first LED and wrap the wire around it, just like that, and then solder it together. Now I'm going to repeat the same process, going all the way around the tree, and of course use the other LEDs and put them together. And this is what it should look like when you solder it together. Now all of the red LEDs are connected, except for the top ones. This one's going to be a little bit different. What I need to do is I need to cut all of those wires and shorten them. 
remove the insulation and connect them all together and then solder them all together, including the linking wire that goes around the tree. Now all of the red LEDs are now connected. And now I'm going to repeat the process with all of the LEDs and of course the cathode. And it should look just like this. As you can see, all of the LEDs are now connected and those leads are loose. That's because those are going to connect to the circuit. Which will then control all of the LEDs. And as you can see, they're all soldered into place, but they're closely touching each other, which means I need to insulate them. And now it's time to make the ET Tiny driver circuit. And these are the parts that you will need to make this circuit. Take my perf board and the socket holder, place it on the end just like this, hold it down, take something to balance it, solder one pin, and that way you have it in partly. I want to make it extra flat by pressing down with my finger and soldering it again. There, now it's flush with the board. Now it's time to take the battery socket, place it in the perf board just like that and solder it together. And it should look just like this. Now I'm going to take my push button lock switch and place it between the two cathodes. Solder it into place and there. Now it's ready to connect as a switch. My plan is now to take the ground of the socket holder, bring it to the switch, and then the switch to the negative of the battery. I'm going to take this bridge wire and bridge it together. And then bridge it together here and there. Now the ground of the socket holder is connected to the switch. Take another bridge wire, place it here. Solder the negative of the battery holder into place. And now bridge the switch to the battery holder, just like that. Now I'm going to go and put some solder on that VCC of the socket holder. Put a bridge wire there. Solder it into place and then solder the positive part of the battery. Bridge those two connections together. And now the VCC is connected to the battery. Put some solder on those three leads, which will connect to the RGB LEDs. And now the circuit is complete. Now it's time to connect the circuit to the LEDs. Remove the insulation of the red, green, blue LEDs in the wires. Place them in just like this. Solder them together and bridge them together to those connections. And it should look just like this. Now I'm going to take the negative or cathode from the RGB LEDs. I'm going to place it through this hole just like that. Fold the wire over and let it touch the ground of the circuit. Solder it into place. And now the RGB LEDs are grounded. And it should look just like this. Now I'm going to take my auto changing RGB LED and the two wires black representing negative and yellow representing positive. Solder them into place, insulating shrink tubes. Shrink them, and then pinch them, and it should look just like this. Now I want to take the ground and place it before the switch, just like this. Solder it into place. And then slide the LED through under all the wires so it looks a little bit more organized. Bring the wire over just like this. 
Now I'll take the positive wire, place it on the circuit, and connect it to the VCC, just like this. Solder it into place and bridge it. And now it shall look just like this. My circuit is now complete. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my ATtiny tiny microcontroller and place it into the socket. There, now it's complete. Now let's go to the fun part. Let's take some hot glue and hot glue everything into place. And I'm going to take my hot glue and put hot glue on all of the exposed connections on all of the soldered wire for all of the LEDs. So that way none of those connections are touching and everything is insulated and protected. I'm going to do that for the entire tree. And it shall look just like this. Everything is now insulated and protected. And now this tree needs a base. So I have this piece of cardboard. And I'm going to go and put some glue at the center of the cardboard. And take the tree and place it just like this. Take some more hot glue and glue it around the base to add extra strength and security. And it should look just like this. And it should look just like this. Now your project is now complete. It is time to place the button cell battery and place it into the holder to power the circuit. And there you have it, it is now complete. And now let's go ahead and press the button. Wow, it works perfectly. Look at that, that is so beautiful. And there you have it. Now you know how to make a beautiful RGB LED Christmas tree that is driven by an ATtiny 85 microcontroller circuit that will power this Christmas tree. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new and don't forget to like and subscribe and of course click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. Thank you for watching SciTitech and have a Merry Christmas. Till the next tech. Goodbye.